I'm at the top of the mountain. There's not a soul up here. Literally not a single person. And there's a massive bear outside of the tent. Only on CBS 13, a new look at Cody Michael's time lost in the High Sierra with his German Shepherd Bauer. The two are home now, but they had to overcome a few obstacles. Well, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw hung out with Bauer today. She joins us more on his uh, recovery, and you've got some interesting new video tonight as well. <laughs> yes, as you can see it right there. Right. I told Cody I'd only use a part of it, but uh, it was great meeting Cody today and Bauer. He told me that he thought he had the essentials, the shelter, the food, even the boots for Bauer, but after five days in the wood, it just wasn't enough. These two definitely took on an adventure that they weren't expecting. Nice job, buddy. There's nothing like home sweet home. Especially after being lost in the woods for three days. Cody Michaels' trusted pal Bauer is all about rest and relaxation. Cody says Bauer is wiped out and still trying to figure out what happened. He wasn't used to that. He probably didn't know what was going on, thinking, you know, when, when are you taking me home? That's because the adventures of Cody and Bauer through the High Sierra should have only lasted a day. While well, Bauer had boots and was well prepared, by day two they were lost with no food and the fun and games were over. The train changes, um, so there's things that he's ten times better at doing than I am, but then when there's trees are falling down and he can't jump that high or I gotta pull him up over a rock, he can't do that stuff. He doesn't have hands. He can't climb. So Bauer quit, and Cody says that's why he decided to set up camp and wait for help. Sure enough, it came, and the two were rescued. And in less than 24 hours, the two were out of the woods, checked in and out of the hospital, and thrown a welcome home party. Bauer has become an insta celeb, posing for selfies and blowing up on social media. Fortunately, it was only three days, buddy. Meanwhile, Cody says he's not comfortable being in the spotlight and can't believe this ever happened. This whole situation definitely won't happen again. But says once Bauer is back to his old self, he's probably going to love his celebrity dog status, toss the boots, and stay out of the woods for good, or at least for now. And everyone's been asking about the boots for Bauer. He only made it home with two, and Cody told me as far as Bauer is concerned, Cody is in the doghouse for a little while anyway. So that clip that you show, that we showed off the top, they're in the tent and the big bear is mm -hmm. outside. I mean, at that point, did Cody maybe think this is not going to end well, or did he talk at all about that? Two secrets. Uh -huh. One, it turns out it was a giant tree, but it sounded just as similar oh, to a bear. Okay. Uh, oh, the boy. next day. So, and and by the way, Bauer didn't make a noise. He just mm -hmm. laid still and he thought, huh. oh my gosh, I brought Bauer. You're supposed to make noise. Turns Nothing. out the next day, he thought when he was walking back to, you know, his car, mm -hmm. they did see a bear and Bauer chased it right off. Oh, okay. Well, a there win we go. for Bauer. Yes. Not so Interesting much for Cody stories that day. behind the scenes. <laughs> so All right. Great. Thanks very much for that. Uh, CBS 13, of course, was the only station there when Cody stepped off the rescue helicopter yesterday. And you can watch that entire video, plus this new exclusive cell phone video. It's on our website, CBS13.com.